Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Wet in Europe. If you are new to my channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. In today's video, we are kicking off an exciting new series, How to Become a Licensed Veterinarian Abroad. This series is going to cover the specific licensing exams and requirements for different countries, including UK, USA, Canada, Australia, and different European nations. I'm going to focus each episode on one particular country, breaking down the essential details like the eligibility requirements, the exam processes, the associated course, timeline, so that you have all the informations that you require to navigate your path to become an internationally licensed veterinarian. Today, in the first episode, we will dive into the UK licensing process and everything you need to know about getting registered into the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeon. So let's get started. In the UK, to practice as a veterinarian, you have to be registered with the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeon, that is RCVS. If your veterinary degree is from a RCVS approved university, your degree gets automatically recognized by the RCVS. Here you can see the list of countries which have universities approved by RCVS. If your veterinary degree is not from this list, then you have to pass the statutory membership examination, that is SME. The RCVS statutory examination for membership is for overseas vets who want to get registered in RCVS but do not have an approved qualification. To be eligible to take the exam, you must be a qualified veterinary surgeon of good professional standing and be eligible to practice in the country where you qualify. So now I'm going to discuss stepwise the pathway to RCVS registration. There are five stages that potential candidates must complete before they can be registered with RCVS. In the upcoming sections, I will discuss each of these stages in details. First, declare your intention to sit. In the first step of the examination, you have to tell the RCVS that you intend to sit for the exam. To do this, you have to send them a completed intention to sit form and the required supporting evidence. You can download the intention to sit form from the RCVS official website. I will share the link in the description. For the supporting evidence, you have to send the following documents. Proof of your primary veterinary degree or diploma, university issued transcript of your studies, your registration certificate or veterinary license, a copy of your passport, a completed self-assessment skill list form, English language proficiency certificate. So let me tell you about the English language test exemption. This can be demonstrated either by taking an English language proficiency test, for example IELTS, or you are exempted from taking any kind of English language test if your veterinary degree was entirely in English. In this case, you need to get a document from your university stating that your veterinary degree was taught and assessed entirely in English. If you are not prepared to sit for the examination, but you want to stay on your intention to sit, but want to delay your exam, then you can do so by renewing your intention to sit by 31st September each year. In this way, you can get more time to prepare for your exam. Once your intention to sit has been approved, you will be able to see practice in UK. Now, what does seeing practice mean? As a SME candidate, you can come to UK and undertake veterinary practice placement, which is called seeing practice. Seeing practice is an invaluable way to prepare for your exam. It helps you adjust your veterinary knowledge to UK practice and gives you an insight into life as a vet in this country. Remember, you cannot work as a veterinary surgeon or veterinary nurse while you are on this placement, but you can take part in many areas of veterinary practice under the guidance of an approved RCVS registered veterinary surgeon. To take part in this placement, you have to inform the RCVS by completing the seeing practice form and then email it to them. Okay, now the second step. Once they have accepted your intention to sit form, you will be invited to take the written exam. Application forms will be sent to all those candidates whose declaration or renewal of intention to sit is accepted by RCVS. You must provide the following documents along with your application and pay the examination fee. 
The written part of the exam consists of best of five multiple choice questions assessing your clinical knowledge, an open book paper assessing your familiarity with the RCVS Code of Professional Conduct. The RCVS Code of Professional Conduct sets out veterinary surgeon's professional responsibilities. The written exam is held across a period of two weeks during the spring. You can give the exam remotely from your country using live in-person invigilation. So once you have completed the written exam, then you have to take the Objective Structural Clinical Exam, that is OSCE. The OSCE is a practical exam which will be held in person in UK and it usually takes place in autumn. In this exam, your practical skills will be assessed as you complete a multi-station circuit of clinical scenario. So the statutory membership examination has two parts. First is the written part which you can take remotely from your country and the other is the practical part which will be held in person in UK. Once you pass both the exam, you will be able to join the RCVS register. If you fail in the second part of the written exam, that was the Code of Professional Conduct exam, you can resit in the same exam period. But if you fail in the Objective Clinical Written exam or the Practical exam, you are not offered any resit. Now, let me discuss a very important aspect that is the cost of this exam. So the entry fee for this examination is £2,500. This includes £2,200 of the exam fee and £300 of the administrative charge. If you want to withdraw from the exam, you can get a refund. How much you will get as a refund depends on when you withdraw from the date of your examination. To discuss about the timeline, I will give you an example of a vet who wished to sit for the exam in 2025. First, you need to submit the intention to sit by 31st December 2024. Once you are approved for the intention to sit, you have to submit the application by 1st October 2024 to 14 January 2025. Then, take the written exam in spring 2025. Then, take the practical examination in autumn of 2025. If you decide to take the exam on 2026 instead, then you can renew your intention to sit form by September 2025. This will give you a longer time for preparation. So this is a rough example if you want to sit for the exam on 2025 and this timeline is more or less similar for each year. It can take a few months for your registration to be processed after passing the exam. And that wraps up today's video on how to become a licensed veterinarian in UK. I hope this video gave you a clear understanding about the steps involved in the RCVS process of registration and how to prepare for the SME examination, including the requirements to sit for the exam, the two aspects of the exam, the cost and the timeline. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any further questions related to the UK process or any suggestion about future videos, please drop them down in the comments below. Stay tuned for the next episode in this series where I will be exploring the veterinary licensing process for USA and everything you need to know about the Neville exam. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so that you don't miss it. Thanks for watching today and I will see you on my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.